Believers in ghosts and the supernatural have a rule. Avoid Ouija boards. They say it's like opening a door to the other side, connecting you with spirits. But science has another explanation. The ideomotor effect says our bodies can move unconsciously. So when the Ouija board's planchette moves, it might be our subconscious, not spirits. We have collected spooky Ouija board stories from people across the world. Are they pranks or something more? Watch on for eerie tales and more true scary stories. Spooky Circle Tom played with a Ouija board with his friends. Instead of moving to letters, the planchette moved strangely. It went to all four corners of the board and made an X, says the 32-year-old. Then it just went in circles. The next time he used the board with a different friend, it moved the same way. I felt like it was some kind of hex, he says. That night, he felt a forceful hand grab his arm and wake him up. Everyone else was asleep. Spooky scream. Sarah was in her room one night after using a Ouija board earlier that day. As she was getting ready for bed, her computer screen changed from black to blue. It turned on by itself. She turned the computer off. Again, the computer clicked itself back to life. Anxious, Sarah unplugged the computer completely, and then the unpowered computer started back up again. She buried the Ouija board in her backyard that same night. The Basement Haunt When Vince was a child, about 30 years ago, a friend convinced him to play with a Ouija board in his basement. Vince didn't expect anything strange to happen, so he agreed. But once they started, the lights flickered, the air grew cold, and a spirit communicated with them through the board. The spirit spelled out a Russian name and claimed to have been murdered. We took a break to make some pizza rolls, Vince says, but we forgot to close the circle. When they returned, the energy was heavier and things were scattered on the floor. Yet the board remained still in the center. Looking at a nearby mirror, they saw the board's eye moving in its reflection. Spooky housewarming. When Paige was around six or seven, she, her mom, and her 15-year-old sister moved to a new, big, old house. That night, they were eating pizza on the living room floor with a fire going. Paige's sister convinced their mom to play with their old Ouija board. As we used it, Paige says, a box in the living room with some books flew across the room. Soon after, the fire went out, and their mom was so scared that she took them to their grandmother's house for the night. Campfire chills. When Liam was at summer camp, he and some boys drew their own Ouija board on a big sheet of paper. As soon as we started using it, he says, we heard knocking from inside one of the lockers. Scary. Liam suggests not checking out suspicious noises. A lesson from scary movies. Family Ghost. Owen started playing with Ouija boards as a child and has experienced paranormal things since. My grandfather, on my dad's side, died before I was born, says the 24-year-old from Ohio. He and my dad were estranged, so my dad never spoke of him or had pictures of him around. One day, Owen started seeing and talking to someone named Michael. Unknowingly, Michael was his grandfather's name. Finally, my parents showed me a picture of a man I had never seen and asked if I knew who it was. I said it was Michael and that he was there with us right then. Fire Fright In high school, Anna had a sleepover with friends. Brianna wanted to use the Ouija board to contact her late grandfather. They set up the board, turned off lights, and lit a candle. When they called for the grandfather spirit, the candle flew at Anna. She felt it wasn't the spirit they had summoned. Thanks for watching our spooky Ouija board stories. If you enjoyed hearing about these eerie experiences, don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel for more scary content. Remember, be cautious if you ever decide to dabble with a Ouija board yourself.